Welcome to the 2016 Minnesota LEND Forum. My name is Amy Hewitt and I direct the LEND program. We're so pleased that all of you decided to enjoy, to join us on a, an afternoon today together and that you're here and excited to learn about and learn from the remarkable group of presenters that we have pulled together for you to discuss the effects of litigation on advancing the rights for people with disabilities. As you may know, this forum is an annual event of the Minnesota Leadership Education and Neurodevelopmental Disabilities Program at the University of Minnesota. Minnesota LEND is an interdisciplinary training program for graduates from graduate students from 16 disciplines who come together with leaders and experts from the community, including families, individuals with disabilities, advocates, and practitioners for a year of learning together about neurodevelopmental disabilities and leadership through multiple lenses and perspective. A large component of our leadership training program is policy and advocacy. I'd like to ask that the Minnesota LEND fellows from the 2016-2017 cohort uh, let us know who you are in whatever way you wish to do that. You could break out in song or wave your hands or stand up. So a, a remarkable group of people um, who are here today to learn from everyone in the audience and to ask uh, questions. I'm also curious if there are any Minnesota LEND uh, graduates or alum, alumni of the program in the audience. You get the prize, Miriam. <laughs> and I'm pleased to introduce you to the Minnesota LEND faculty and staff, if you could in some, some way identify who you are for the group. So if you have any questions about the Minnesota LEND program, these folks are uh, out there to answer them for you. I can't think really of a better time to be talking about these issues. It's clearly a time of change within Minnesota and nationally in, in the United States. Some of this change is welcomed and anticipated and some of it's not. So I think we'll engage in a, a good, healthy conversation today related to that change and the context of people with disabilities. As unique as it is for uh, our LEN fellows to be able to spend a year together in a cohort model with colleagues from 16 academic uh, units on campus and, and community professionals, practitioners, and advocates, I think it's uh, perhaps even more unique to have the opportunity to spend an entire afternoon and hear from a group uh, as distinguished as the group we've pulled together for you this afternoon. Together in one room, with their undivided attention on you this afternoon, we have a sitting United States District Court judge, a court monitor, an assistant United States attorney, a legal director for Minnesota's Legal Aid Center, an ombudsman, and a litigating attorney who represents individuals with disabilities and their families. This is really unusual. I think it's fairly remarkable. And I'm not sure that I personally have ever seen such a distinguished group of people together to discuss with the audience and amongst themselves. They've promised me that I don't need to worry about two hours of conversation, that we'll, we'll be cutting, cutting the conversation off. Um, but having all of these folks together on a single stage to discuss human and civil rights for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities is really remarkable. And I have the distinct pleasure of being able to introduce them to you. Uh, we'll start with our keynote presenter, and then I'm going to go ahead and introduce the panelists, and then we'll move right into the program. Many of you know him as Judge Frank. The Honorable Donovan Frank is a United States federal judge of the United States District Court of the District of Minnesota. He received a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Luther College in 1973 and his JD from Hamlin University School of Law in 1977. Judge Frank began his legal career as an assistant county attorney in St. Louis County, Minnesota. And in 1985, he was appointed as a state district court judge in Minnesota's 6th 
6th Judicial District. Judge Frank served as an assistant chief judge of that courtroom from 1988 to 1991. He was chief, chief judge from 1991 to 1996. On May 21st, 1998, President Bill Clinton nominated Judge Frank to, the, to a seat on the United States District Court for the District of Minnesota, which was va vacated by David Doty. He was confirmed on October 21st, 1998, and later received his commission on October 22nd, 1998. Gary Book, oh, Judge, can you make people aware of who you are? Just what I sure. Next, uh, our first panelist is Gary Booker. He is Assistant United States Attorney for the District of Minnesota in Minneapolis. Mr. Booker was Chief of the Civil Division from 2007 to 14 and was named the first assistant in 2014. He is a 1985 cum laude graduate of the University of Minnesota Law School where he was the article editor for the Minnesota Law Review. After law school, he clerked for Justice George M. Scott of the Minnesota Supreme Court. And prior to his appointment as an assistant United States attorney, he was an attorney with the large law firm in Minneapolis. Mr. Booker is currently an adjunct professor, both at the University of Minnesota and Mitchell Hamlin School of Law. He's litigated hundreds of civil rights enforcement cases in federal court. Next is David Furliger. We might know him as the court monitor. Um, he is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and graduated from the University of Pennsylvania Law School in 1972. He has a national law and consulting practice that specializes in public interest, civil rights, and disability justice. He, he has litigated landmark disability cases, argued five times before the Supreme Court of the United States, and participated in the other Supreme Court litigation. He's represented individuals and government agencies and is an adjunct professor at the University of Pennsylvania Law School. He's written and lectured and consulted nationally. For example, he filed and litigated to its conclusion many years later the, the landmark Halderman versus Pennhurst State School Hospital case, which was the first federal court decision to hold that there is a right to community services for people with disabilities. Mr. Furliger served federal courts, presiding over hearings and assisting courts as special man master, monitor, and technical advisor. And as you know, he is currently the court mon monitor for the Honorable Donovan Franklin in the Jensen versus Department of Minnesota Department of Human Services in Minnesota case. Hopefully you're starting to get the feel that we want this to be uh, a casual conversation this afternoon. But I have a few more introductions, so bear with me. Pamela Hoops is the director of the Minnesota Disability Law Center. She's been the statewide legal director for the Mid-Minnesota Legal Aids Minnesota Disability Center since 1998. She joined the Disability Law Center in 1989 as a staff attorney and became the managing attorney in 1994. Before moving to Minnesota, Pam was a litigator with the New York firm Paul Weiss, Rifkind, Wharton, and Garrison, and clerked for a federal magistrate judge in the Southern District of New York. She's a graduate of the New York School of Law uh, and Oberlin College. Pam? <laughs> and I haven't seen Seamus come in. Did he come in yet? He's on his way. So I'm going to tell you who he is, and then when he comes in late, you'll know who you'll know who what his credentials are. He's a managing stakeholder at Omera, Lear, Wagner, and Cole, and he represents school districts, businesses, and local gov governments in complex liability construction and transactional matters. He serves as a mediator and arbitrator for construction and commercial disputes and is on the American Arbitration Association large case panel for construction matters. He presents nationally on school safety and construction topics, and he's been recognized as an attorney of the year by the Minnesota lawyer and a super lawyer by Minnesota law and 
and politics for his construction and education practice. Mr. Amir has considerable board and leadership experience in the areas of facility management, indoor air, school safety, emergency management, and developmental disabilities. He is a 1991 graduate of the Mitchell College of Law in St. Paul, and he's admitted to all state and federal courts in Minnesota, the 8th District uh, Circuit Court of Appeals, and has been admitted to um, pro hack vice in several jurisdictions. So when he comes in, you'll know his credentials. Roberta uh, Opheim is the Ombudsman for Mental Health and Developmental Disabilities in Minnesota. The Office of the Ombudsman is a small independent state agency that reports to the governor and receives citizen complaints about the care and treatment that they're receiving for mental illness, developmental disabilities, chemical dependency, and works that protect the rights of children and um, people with disabilities. So that is your very distinguished group of people that you'll be learning from and engaging with this afternoon. Let's give them a big welcome with a round of applause. <laughs> 